So in this problem, we're told a hair dryer draws 9.5 amps when plugged into a 120 volt line. A, what is the resistance? B, how much charge passes through it in 15 minutes? So first thing you always want to do, write down the given. So we're basically told the current, right, that is drawing, so 9.5 amps. We're told uh, the voltage, right, the voltage source, which is 120 volts. And then for B, we're given a time, right, which is how much in 15 minutes. So let's just go ahead and start with A. So a is pretty simple. What is the resistance? So I know we're given uh, voltage and current. So that basically tells me, okay, we can use Ohm's law, which is V equals IR. And we can solve for the resistance because I know the current and I know the voltage. So just divide both sides by I. So R equals the voltage, which in this case is 120 volts. And then divide by the current. So 120 divided by 9.5 is 12.63 12.63 and then we use volts and amps so we're standard units so ohms 12.63 ohms that's going to be the resistance um let's go ahead and do b so b is a little bit more tricky but how much charge passes through in 15 minutes so i know we're dealing with charge and for these type of problems i know we're going to be using basically the rule of what current is so we know current i equals the change in charge over the change in time that's what current is defined as so i want to find the charge and i know we know the current they give us that in the problem and they also give us the time and you'll see see that why that works is we have these two variables we can just solve for delta q so if i'm ever given current or time or maybe they, they want to solve for current and we have charge in time or something you're going to use this rule so basically just multiply both sides by delta t so Basically, the charge, which is what we're solving for, is equal to these two multiplied by each other. So we know the current. I'm going to move it to the front. So 9.5 amps times the change in time. But notice that they want us, or amps are defined as coulombs per second, right? One amp equals, that's what it is. So we need this to be in seconds. We can't put it in just 15 minutes, the time. So we got to convert it. So to convert it, there's 60 seconds for every minute. So just multiply it by 60. So now it's in seconds because we multiplied by 60 and then just multiply out. So 9.5 times 15 times 60. So you're going to get delta Q equals 8550. And then this is going to be, yeah, 8550. And this is Coulomb since we're dealing with charge. So yeah, this is going to be the charge that passes through it in 15 minutes. So, uh, yeah, so this is going to be your answer for B. This is A. And yeah, so hopefully you found this uh, useful.